Hey, this is a quick unscripted video showing my progress. Uh, there's been quite a bit, but it's all been kind of technical stuff that I don't really want to make fancy things for because it's stuff that you can find all over YouTube and all over the place. A star and things like that. Uh, it's all necessary work. Um, and the fact that I'm kind of rolling my own system means that I don't have a framework that I can run from, so I had to do it. But there's nothing too exciting about it. Uh, I've pushed all of these the systems into a system controller. So the pathing system, the job system, the rendering system, all of this stuff is happening within its own controller, uh, which is being processed uh, by the stage along with any of the other actors as part of the draw method right over here exciting I know very much so no the, the big thing that's happened is that I've got a job system and a pathing system up and running so we can actually do things and see results which is pretty impressive I know so we're gonna cut some plants and we'll go boop 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 and you can see the ponds run over and chop down some trees the, the uh, plants don't actually get chopped down but you can see a box comes down Someone will run over and grab it. I believe this pond was close enough to do it. Come on. Someone run over. There we go. So ponds will run over and do jobs. And uh, you'll see the box disappears. Huh, maybe there's a pond hiding in behind there. That must be something going on. Interesting. But you can see them kind of running around and doing things. So that means I have a pathing system and I have a job completion system running in the background and you can actually see them doing work right here so they're they're applying work to trees as they go so that's nice and to do that I had to make a job system with job components and job seekers from worker components so all the pawns have worker components describing how well they do work and all jobs have a job component which describes how much work needs to be done. Um, at the moment, there is no distinguishment between types of work. It's just any pawn will apply the same amount of work to any job. That's easy enough to change, though, so I'm just using that for the moment. Uh, the pathing system, as it is, just runs A star. If a worker has a target for their work, um, the pather will build a path to it and we'll step along that path and when it arrives at that path or the end of that path it will complete it and uh, at the same time the job system won't actually apply work unless the worker is close enough to actually do that work in other words uh, first a worker if it doesn't have a job will look for one by seeking a job otherwise it will try and process that job uh, depending on how far away it is so that's fun and that's worthwhile but again it's not particularly exciting I've done a lot of extra work in behind the scenes at the same time which I'm glad I did it's still a bit of a mess but I expect that as work continues I'll be able to clean that up as I go so there you go that's the stuff that's happening and I hope that you're excited to continue thanks for listening